Hello everybody. I've got a couple things I'm going to open for you today. We found at Walmart, um, I know I've explained my job before, we do inventory, and most of where we do inventory is Walmart. We saw these yesterday in the store that we were counting. And they are Toy Capsule Collectibles Universal Monsters Edition. This is their uh, NECA. So one side of the pack has like half of Frankenstein's face, the other side has the bride and, and Frankenstein monster and the mummy and the creature. Why there's no Dracula, I don't know. You're going to call it the Universal Monsters, he's like the most famous one, so whatever. Um, so we've got these, there's nine little capsules in here. And then I received a box in the mail. I think I know what it is. Hopefully I'm right. Um, let's start with the box, and we'll all be surprised, right? Um, I will be doing a Manga Spice Cafe opening here shortly. Uh, it did arrive, and I'm a little later than usual. Usually I put it up on the 16th, but we were going out of town when it arrived, and so it is sitting in my car at the moment. Okay, yeah, this is what I thought it was. Um, while I was on Facebook one day, I kept getting these ads for Ty, you know, the Beanie Baby people, for, um, huh, for a Beanie Baby, let me see, let me make sure I got his name right, yeah, of Max the dog. He's this cute little tie-dye help any? Probably not. No, that doesn't help make him look like he's going in the dark. <laughs> um, he's a cute little tie-dye doggy named Max. And the proceeds go to Color the Spectrum next for autism. Um, it goes to a, an autism charity. And I thought, you know, I can pay, I think it was six ninety nine for everything, the, the plushie and shipping and all that all together. It was six ninety nine total. I think they give you free shipping. And I thought, yeah, I can do that because all the proceeds go to the charity to help with autism. This Max the Dog, my birthday is April 2nd, World Autism Awareness Day. But he was just released here in August. I, that makes it kind of weird. But, um, he's super cute. I wish the colors were showing up better on screen. I love the big, big eyes. He's, he's just an adorable little puppy. So this is Max the dog to support autism. He's like his little fluffy ears. I don't know if I have any of the tag protectors. We used to collect the beanies back in the day. I don't know if I have any tag protectors. I'll have to see if I can find one. Um, and then the little card that came with it. Why pay on Amazon for Thai plush, Thai toys, Thai gifts? Why overpay on Amazon? Starting at four ninety nine, dollars 99 Thai.com. Free shipping in the U.S. So if anybody's interested, it's the little card. And the fans blow in everything, so it's going to be hard to read anything paper. Um, Ty, from our heart to yours, thank you for purchasing from Ty.com. We appreciate your business and all their little socials. So that's the first thing to open. Now, I was trying to open these at lunch yesterday, and I couldn't get them open. So I was like, yeah, that's a sign. Take them home, make a video. So we'll cut these open. little black and white capsule. The first one has a pin that says the mummy. Nice little enamel pin. It's got one pin back. I'm not sure how much this was. I'll have to see if I can find the receipt here. Um, 
mind, our minds. Um, nine ninety six for the pack. So, you know, a buck for that kid, not bad. So what else is in here? <coughs> Although it says toy capsules and getting a pin doesn't make me think toy. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make me think toy. This is some kind of clip. And it's got the Frankenstein monster. Let me take that out of the package. You can't really see that on the camera very well. And you know, if it's coming from NECA, it's not going to be cheap. It's just a little clip. And it's got this little, like, rubbery Frankenstein. And in this one, this is number three. A keychain. Dracula! Alright, I'm happy. He has made an appearance. Because I hope those of you who have been watching my channel for a while would know I collect vampires and bats. So having a Dracula keychain is pretty damn cool. Again, it's the same kind of rubber as the little clip thing. I like it. Although I'm surprised they didn't make them metal like they did the pin. So it would hold up better. If you put that on your keys, there's a good chance it would get messed up. I'm not going to put it on my keys. One, because I keep my key in this little pouch with my money, because I don't carry a purse anymore. A couple reasons for that. One is I just can't find one I like. And the other reason is because I can't carry it at work, so it's kind of a pain in the butt to put stuff in the purse to do things and then take it out of the purse and switch it to something else. It, no, it's too much trouble. Okay, in this one we have a patch that says the Wolfman. It's got like that sticky stuff on the back, so it's an iron on patch. But with these, I always, if I'll iron them on first and then I'll sew them on because sometimes the sticky doesn't stay stuck. As somebody who's dealt with lots and lots and lots of patches. So this is number five. We're right in the middle now. What do we got here? We have one of these plastic or rubbery bracelet things. And it says Frankenstein. I kind of knew I was getting this because I saw one that had opened in one of the packets. And I thought, well, that spoils the surprise. But that's okay. At least I had an idea of the kinds of things. Oh, what's this? Number six. We have a pair of Dracula shoelaces. At first I thought maybe it was just a thin lanyard, but no, it's a pair of shoelaces. That's cool. But I'm not going to put them in my shoes because I don't want to ruin them. I get yelled at at work anyway. But. Those people are black. But they are black. Why does it say Dracula all over? Because I like Dracula. Change your shoelaces. But I don't want to. Yeah. I already hear the conversation in my head. That's the next. we got three more to go. Sounds like, or feels like, one of those rubber bouncy balls. Nope, 
It's an eraser. Got the rubber part right. <coughs> it's purple. It has the bright Frankenstein on it. That lavender color doesn't show up very well on this camera. Number seven. No. Number eight. Number eight. Oh god, I do inventory and I can't even count. How bad is that? This appears to be a magnet, and it's the creature from the Black Lagoon. Flatten it out a little. Uh, I'm going to have to gather wrapper. Hold on. I don't know, this is still shiny, but... There we go. Now you can kind of see it. Creature from the Black Lagoon is what it says. Okay, so the moon is like hot pink and it's showing up more the lavender color of the Bride of Frankenstein thing. I don't know. My lighting sucks. Okay, the least. I'm not this back in the left. Get back in there. I might put that on the fridge. We'll see. So one more goodie. What's going to be in the next little pouch? <coughs> and last we have a Dracula sticker. He's kind of shiny. Well, you can kind of see he's got a pinkish about the same color pink as the uh, moon on the magnet. It's a, like a hot pink. Anyway, Dracula. At least there's three Dracula items. They didn't put him on the package, but there's three Dracula. That's cool. The best item, I think, is probably the mummy pen, though. I I'm going to guess that they are probably, all the packages are probably the same. That's the feeling I'm getting. Especially since I saw that same bracelet in at least two other packages. What they, what I think would have been really cool was to have different characters on the side. Like maybe do one with Dracula and have different items. And maybe do one with, like, the Bride of Frankenstein and have different items. So that they would make them more money and they give us more goodies to collect. When you've got as many monsters as the Universal Canon has. No, there wasn't anything of the Phantom. He wasn't in there at all. Phantom of the Opera. They did. They have a Universal version of that. Universal has some great movies. But I don't know why they skipped out on certain ones, but three Dracula items makes me happy. Um, they also had, uh, I think it was Sonic the Hedgehog, and maybe, um, what was the other one? The Avengers, I think. There are at least two other packages that you could get, but all the Universal Monsters had Frankenstein on the side, so I'm guessing that they're probably all going to pretty much be the same, um, items inside. But see, with the pin, you can have a pin for each monster. I would have loved one that said Dracula. The mummy's alright. And, you know, well, for each thing, they could have done one for each monster. They could have made, like, the Dracula pack and all the goodies be Dracula, and the Frankenstein pack and all the things be Frankenstein. That was another way they could have gone. But we'll go with what they've done. and You know, I'm cool with that. I would like to see if anybody else gets these. 
did you get different things? Did I just happen to see packets that all had the same bracelet? Maybe it's the same bracelet and everything else is different. I don't know. Um, it'd be kind of interesting to find out. But at 10 bucks a pack, I'm not going to go out and just keep buying the same thing over and over. Although I'm thinking about getting a second one so I can play with these and then have the other one so I can keep the thing nice in my collection. We'll see. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Um, coming up later, I will be doing a book haul. So I'm just looking at this stack of books sitting here that I don't think I've hauled. I might have, but I don't think I did. Um, and while we're out today, there's a chance I might be bringing this up. Uh, and I'll have the Mango Spice Cafe coming up. Um, I believe we get an extra book in this one. And they've already taken the money out for the August one, so we'll be doing it again next month. Um, I can show you one thing. I got, I ordered on eBay. I had a little bit of an issue, but, um, I ordered two games. These are the 3M bookshelf games from the 60s and 70s. I grew up playing Stocks and Bonds and one called Acquire because those are the two my family had. And I found a seller that had both of them for like 25 bucks. And I was like, wow considering most of the people selling them are selling these for starting at 40 for one. <laughs> so I thought, cool, I'll order that. By the time they added tax and shipping, it was like 37 bucks. Kind of changed. Well, the problem is that they didn't have food games. And the person I was in contact with is like, oh, I didn't realize that it was listed for both games. I only have the one. Because I, when I received only one game, I was like, um, I think there's been a mistake. I only received one game. Is Are they being shipped separately? And she's, she was completely confused by what I was talking about. She went and looked at the listing. She's like, oh, I didn't notice that it said both games in there. I'm like, you're the seller. You didn't know you were selling this. Anyway... I mean, they were really nice and all. Because when the, when I first ordered it, um, I did the buy it now thing. Because I didn't want to deal with bidding and getting outbid. And end up paying 40 bucks a piece. Like everybody else is selling them for. Um, so I thought, well, this is a really good deal. And I went ahead and bought it. And they've got pretty good feedback. Like up for 90%. So I thought, you know, not, not going to be that big of an issue. As soon as I sent my money through, I got an email from them saying, we're on vacation. We won't be back until whatever day I, I can ship it then. Will this be a problem? If it is, I can refund your money. Said, no, not a problem. Um, you know, have a nice vacation. So then they sent it. Basically, they were sending it the day that their estimated time of arrival was, was listed on, this, on the uh, ad. Long story short, I only got one game. So I contacted her, said, only one game. There's supposed to be two. I'm missing this. The one that came seems to be in order, but then I started looking at it closer. It's missing its dice, but that's not a big deal. I've got extra dice, so I'm not going to be upset over that, right? Not quibbling over a pair of dice that I could go to the dollar store and buy like five in a pack, right? Um, so, here's what it looks like. We've got, <laughs> try to hold this up without dumping everything. We've got the rule packet, rule booklet. There's a little, what they call stock calculator. Um, everybody gets a sheet off the pad. There's some black, like crayon things that are used to write on this, which lists all the stocks and you know, so and the price you write the prices in with this. These are the cards that tell you what the change in the prices are, and these are your stock certificates. Which I mean, they're still 
than a pad. So you can tell they haven't played the game. Because those would have been taken apart. So, you know, it's in great condition. It's just missing the dice, and that's not an issue to me. The issue is the whole other game missing. And they said, well, I don't have the other game. I mean, there's a little bit of scuffing, but this is probably like the year I was born, so it's almost 50 years old. I'm not going to complain. Other people would probably have kittens over that little bit of scuff, right? So, long story short, she doesn't have the game. But she offered me a refund. I mean, she was willing to refund the whole amount. I've got the one game, you know. I got half of what I wanted. I wanted the two games because they were the two I grew up with. And the ones I have have gotten damaged. Because they've been in the basement. And with the moisture in the basement and everything, it's gotten damaged. And I just wanted replacements so that we could enjoy the games again. And I will put them someplace else so that they won't be in the basement absorbing more moisture. Pretty much the bulk of our board games have gotten messed up because they've been in the basement. They were on shelves and everything, but, you know, how basements can get. Um, so, there's that. We're going to slowly replace them stuff, games that we want want to play again, we're going to replace eventually, and then, like the ones we're not too keen on, we're not going to worry about, we'll just get something else, if we can find them, but be, these being older games, they're harder to find, um, Amazon had a couple that sellers have listed, and the one was like, the cheap one was 80 bucks, for one game, the next one the next cheapest was like 189 I'm like, for one game. No, I can't afford that. So, we're going to keep our eyes open. And if we can find the other game, which is called Acquire, um, we'll, we'll try to get a copy of it. It's in the same color blue box. They had different color boxes for different ones. But Acquire and Socks and Bonds were in the same color blue, which is kind of nice because then they'll match on the shelf. Um... But it has, it comes with, uh, the version we had anyway, has a yellow tray with little squares in it, and then a whole bunch of tiles. And the tray is numbered and lettered, right? So it's like a grid. And you got black tiles with the numbers and letters. And as you play, you put tiles into this grid. And when you get two together, you create a hotel. And the idea is you create a hotel, and then you have colored letter blocks that you sit on top. You can only create, I think there's seven hotel chains available, something like that. Six or seven. I might be remembering it wrong because it's been a while since we played. And you set one of the letters on top of the hotel you create. And then the idea is to make it bigger. And the bigger you make it, the bigger your chain. And if you get to, I want to say if it's 21 pieces or more, you cannot remove it from the board. If it's small, it can be removed because you can merge hotels. So it can be pretty cutthroat at times. My mom and I, we were vicious when we played games. And I mean, it's been 12 years plus since my mom died, almost 12 and a half years. So it's probably been at least 13 since we played the game. Um, probably more than that, actually. But anyway, mom and I, we would get pretty vicious playing. And we'd get to like, there's 19 and I've got 20. Ha, I'm merging. I'm taking your chain. And then we'd have like half the board filled. It'd be so much fun. Anyway, that's how you made your money is by merging stuff off. Because you're buying stock as you go along. As you're filling in and making things bigger, you're buying stock in these hotels. And then when you merge, the person who makes the merge has first option. Um, they can, and if they have stock in the one that they're taking off, they can trade two for one for the hotel that's taking it off. So say 
There's one called Continental. It's kind of a teal blue and with a C on it. And then there's one called Worldwide, which I always call the cow kind because the picture of the world is on a brown card. It looks like a cow to me when I was a kid. So I always called it Moo. <laughs> anyway, if, if Continental was bigger, say it had 15 tiles and Worldwide only had five and you're taking that off, I could trade two Worldwide stocks for one Continental. I loved Continental. That was the one I always put on. I don't know why, but that was the one I always put on. It is also one of the one of the two expensive ones. There was Continental and Imperial, I think, which was like a hot pink color. And I like the teal one, so I always put the put Continental on, and I made my money there. The other one I liked was Festival, which is a green one. So I'm remembering all this stuff. There was Luxor and Tower, which are the two cheap ones. It was red and yellow. There's a third one that were the mid-range ones, and then Continental and Imperial were the expensive ones. So I feel like there were seven. I might be remembering that part wrong, but I feel like there were seven different kinds. And so, you know, it was fun. We had a blast playing it. We play on Saturday nights. We always played some kind of either card game or board game when I was growing up, unless we were out doing something. But we often played cards or games either on Saturday or Sunday. Um, most likely Saturday if it was during the school year. Sundays if we were off and we didn't have to worry about getting up early for things like school. Um, yeah, we had a, a good time playing games. and I miss doing that. We've started um, at work. <laughs> when we're in the hotels, we play on Tuesday nights. It's every Tuesday night for the last couple of weeks now, we've started playing Cards Against Humanity. And we have decided to make our own pack of cards that are appropriate. <laughs> appropriate. Completely inappropriate um, to our job things we've overheard, things that have happened while we're there, things about one of our supervisors that he thinks were hysterical. Because um, he played with us the first night we played. Our AM, our assistant manager, had this guy join our game because she didn't want to play. She thought it would be inappropriate if she played because she knows the game. And we're like, but you're off. You're off the clock. You can play with the <laughs> She wouldn't, but she stood there and made him play. And uh, he got a kick out of it. He thinks we're all a bunch of perverts now, but that's the name, nature of the game, you know? Cards Against Humanity is a blast. If you want to see what it's like, I do have video of my family playing. My son my brother and my sister-in-law we played over Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. It's more fun with more people. I'm thinking about picking up the family version, family-friendly version. Um, so if they come down and bring their daughter, she's too young for regular, but family she'd be alright with, I think. It's kind of like um, apples to apples you've ever played that. If, you, if you're not familiar with Cards Against Humanity, it's like a grown-up 18-plus kind of apples to apples. <laughs> um, and I have a, a bunch of the expansions that I've added to my collection. So I have essentially it's sitting right here. So I'm going to make a couple new cards. This little case is full of stuff. Cards Against Humanity cards. And I'm thinking if I get very many more expansions, I'm going to have to buy another case to carry them around. In. So my luggage to go to work will be <laughs> cases of cards. Because I just put out a whole bunch of new ones. And I'm like, man. And I got a lot of money wrapped up in that. Um, but it's so much fun. And I'm glad that we play.
And we've got a good group of people with warped minds. Anyway, that's what's been what I've been getting in the mail. Things I've ordered. Um, I don't think you really want to see the belt I bought. And then I had to buy again in a different size because the one that they sent... Okay, so here's the thing. And I didn't know Amazon did this. And it kind of cool, but I bought a belt. And I read the thing and it said to order a size larger than what your pants size is. So I measured my waist and I ordered a size larger like it said to do. That thing was, the last hole was like four inches from where I needed it to be. So I thought, okay, well, I'll go down a size because the size is like every two inches, right? And I thought, I'll go down a size. That should fix the problem. Went and ordered the, the size that I would normally wear as far as pants and all. It's still too big. I managed to wear it all day or all week for work, but it's still too big. So now I'm like, do I need? Do I order a third one? Because the first one, I went back and said I need to return it, and they just gave gave me the money. They didn't. You don't have to return the item. So I've got a belt here. <laughs> It's a real nice belt. That's too big. I have no use for it. There's one guy that was part of our crew, but I don't know if he's coming back or not. He's really ill. Um, it was packaged real nice. In his box, it had all these little tags and things. Really nice presentation. So... <laughs> I, like, I went, and with the money they refunded, I had to reorder it. But the price had gone up. I didn't know that, you know, you didn't have to return the items. I thought that was really bizarre. But whatever. whatever. Um, but I have a belt that I can't wear. That's way too big, because even the right size one is too big. If I lose any more weight, I'm going to have to buy a new belt. It went from 12 something, which with the refund was 13 and change, to this was almost 15. Uh, why did they add $3 to the price of the belt? And it's a smaller belt! So I paid $3 more for a smaller belt. I don't know. Anyway, um, now I'm going to I'm look at it possibly needing to buy it again. It's crazy. I need to buy new pants because they're getting too loose on me. So that's a good thing, I guess, but that's also a lot of money. If you got to keep replacing things. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I gotta keep saying anyway. Um, yeah, that, that's, I think, the highlight of what I've got to share. Look at this, see if there's anything else. I think that's it for right now. Um, there will be a book haul coming up, and there will be Mountain Spice Cafe coming up. And I got to go yell at the people at the bank because they've screwed some stuff up. And once I get that straightened out, maybe I'll do a little shopping. We'll see. Um, so, anyway. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you have if you have any of these monster capsules and you got something different, please let me know. Because, you know, if I need to pick up a couple more packages of them, I may do that between now and Halloween, however long they're available in store. I've only seen them the one time, which was yesterday when we were in... Where were we yesterday? Harrisburg? Napoleon. Somewhere up around Toledo area. Um, we did a store in Toledo. We did two other stores. And I can't. They all run together. I can't tell you which store was which. Um, but yeah. 
Anyway. There I go again. Um. Yeah. Anyway, and um, I gotta stop doing that. I will leave you here and get this uploaded while I'm out running errands. So, hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Remember to do all the YouTube, fun YouTube things. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Um, we're, I think we may have made it to 50 subscribers, which is kind of exciting. I saw that I got a couple more subscribers in the last month or so. So, yay! We may have hit 50. I will have to check on that. Um, it's irritating to me. I'm so sorry. It's got to be irritating you, too. That's all I've got for now. So, I will see you, or actually, you'll probably see me in the next video.